Hey everybody, Steven here, playing Grounded, and today looking at the latest update to the game, which actually launched last week. A little bit slow to get this one in, because this one's harder, the, the B, so they're adding in flying creatures, right? Which I know a lot of the people that cover this more in depth have kind of debugged it, where they're almost using console commands to spawn a lot of these things. For instance, I've seen one video where they actually spawn a beehive, which is cool. But with this, yeah, the bees are just really difficult to learn their attacks. That took a minute, but we have bees, we have mosquitoes, and then we have fireflies. And I'm thinking that at this point, I'm almost going to need to start a new game because, and I'll talk about this a little bit more later, um, fireflies, I couldn't even find them. Couldn't find them anywhere. So I'm thinking like some other games where it's in early access and when they update this stuff, yeah, you may have to restart in order to get some of it to actually pop up in the world here. But yeah, learning the B attacks uh, can take a second. With that, you're gonna get the Stinger, uh, we get Pollen, which the way Pollen's laid out is it, it's like it's supposed to attract them, but it hasn't worked for me. So some of the mechanics just aren't working either, which is one of the reasons why I'm thinking I need to start over. Um, for instance, Mosquitoes are supposed to be where you would find uh, the Aphid Dew or Aphid Dew, and I'm not finding that. I can't drop it either and attract them, so just odd that certain things aren't working. Um, with this, I'm on medium difficulty. I've also... I don't like the way the game has it where you can give feedback. You actually have to sign up through the Obsidian website to do that, versus just giving like smiley faces or frowning faces in uh, the actual game. But once we actually get this stuff analyzed, it'll open up well, we have the Stuffed Bee, which is a new, uh, like, creature that you can actually put up in your base and ornament, right? And then the Stinger Spear, it, it's odd also, because some of the stuff it's saying, I already know these. But uh, the Stinger Spear, very, very cool. Showcase that. We have the Mosquito Sword. We also have a, the, the Weevil Shield that we'll look at. But uh, with this, we'll check out some of the new stuff that we have here. In terms of armor, we have the Bee Armor. You could also, because I have the Rotten Bee Armor, you could also analyze that and then it'll show you how to make it. Which, there's my set right there. Uh, that's something that you can find in the um, Ant Colony if you want to do that, kind of at the early portion of the game. But we have that for armor. So we have a new armor set, really, really cool. Uh, in terms of the weapons, we have the Spear, um, the Stinger Spear, and then we have the... Mosquito sword and then the uh, Weevil shield and this is the stuffed bee right here You can put those up. That's pretty cool. I haven't done that yet Outside of that um, Another thing that you can make is the heal bossa which I'll talk about that again here in a little bit uh, It's like a blood filled sack that I'll actually heal you and your fellow uh, teammates but Difficulty with the bees was was pretty gnarly. It's been gnarly to deal with this area right here I've just noticed there's just more bees that congregate over here And if you can get it where it's stuck You could just shoot your arrow a bunch at it and almost either kill it or get its health way down because when it starts to like Do its main attack. I mean it'll take most of your health You can't survive more than two of them and it still does a decent amount of damage when you block it but the shield is cool because that actually blocks things that previously you couldn't block with just your weapon. So now you actually get to block these other attacks, which just haven't been blockable. Which has kind of been an annoyance with uh, the game. I do wish you could scale the difficulty also versus having to start a game all the way over. But I'll probably end up needing to do that anyways, like I said. So I like the animations. I like the look of the bees. But yeah, they can be they can be difficult. <laughs> this and the, where I'm saying like this particular area, we get a bunch. This didn't pan out because there's a bunch of them right here. But this is where you'll see that huge attack right there. If you have the open space, you get to move out of it, which is uh, out of the way, which is awesome. But yeah, if you're gonna try to stay there and dodge it, or you, you not at the appropriate level that you think you are in terms of like height to get out of the way, it's gonna it's gonna get you. But uh, here we go, Stinger Spear, got that. Next we have the Weevil Shield. 
we can block with that. Uh, this is actually the fireflies that I'm not finding in game at all. And I'm only finding a handful of mosquitoes also. So, like I said, about that time I just start a new game, see how it goes with that. Because I haven't messed with it yet. Just because I've built a huge base and I don't want to mess with starting over, but I think I'm going to have to. And with this, I mean, looking around, that was footage from the actual dev blog on it. This is my game, like, nothing. Because they're going to be where you find dewdrops. Nothing. And with that, you get the Firefly headlamp. And that's one of the things I was really looking forward to because, yeah, if you're playing at night, this gives you a good cast of light so you can see now. Which makes certain things like the wolf spider scarier. And so this is going to be that heal bossa where... You can actually use this if you're being attacked, throw it down, and like I said, it'll actually heal you and your teammates. There it goes. Boom. So I like that addition. That's pretty cool. And so I ended up only finding, I think, two when I was recording, and then I ended up finding one outside of that. It was enough to get me the uh, mosquito, like the needle sword, but... Uh, I've noticed with, especially with the mosquito, how far it backs up. The bee does it a little bit, but with the mosquito and how it does that, like, spears are really the way to go with these guys. If you have the longer reach, just because they do want to back up from you. Gnarly attack, but you can see it, like, it fills, the bottom fills up with blood. There he goes. Yeah, see, it gets more and more red. So, I like the animations with it. I think it looks cool. Creepy. There's a big mosquito, too. And this was the other one that I found. I was just sitting there, not doing anything. The third one, I think it was doing the same thing. It was actually, it wasn't on a branch or anything like that. It was just in the, uh, I think it was just sitting on the ground. Yeah. But this was the one that I killed first, did the research on it, and then... Got to analyze this, but like I said, it already said the mosquito needle. It says already, already known, which is also weird because I, I didn't research any of this stuff before. So that's where I'm thinking maybe I got something going on with my save file. Um, and we're actually going to look at the new mutation at the end of the video as well. So we'll get to that here in a second. I did find uh, a science lab, uh, or not the science lab, the little outpost uh, field station. There we go. And I, I didn't realize it was here. <laughs> so this is one of the logs. I think they've done phenomenal with these. Dominant practical technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully. Household liquids, gels, and aerosols deficient. That is where my PhD is going now. Kaminsky works here, and he's an idiot. With the pay cut, I've been reduced to substituting at the local school. How many times can one person be expected to explain the difference between a vector and a scalar? If it has direction, then it's a scalar. I mean, a vector. Oh! I swear the ignorance around me is contagious. Does that normal teacher do anything? No wonder my inventions cannot be appreciated. Our society no longer understands science. I just want to let that play. I think the voice work is really, really good, like I said. But uh, this brings us to the mutation. This is the barbarian mutation. Strong and reckless, you pride yourself in using the biggest weapon possible. Your muscular arms have no problem swinging clubs with great force. Now, I haven't found this in the world, so I don't know if it's one of those where you're just going to get this by using two-handed weapons and clubs and things like that. But my assumption is that it's just increasing the hit points with that weapon style. I do want to bring up also one last thing, and it's going to kind of close this video out. They finally updated it so that your armor isn't taking up inventory when you put it into your armor slots, which is phenomenal because I know that's been one of the more highly requested 
updates that people have wanted from the devs for the game because you're carrying all this stuff it kind of sucks that yeah it's taken up a bunch of inventory slots and you don't have a ton to begin with so once you go out you're kind of running back to your base a lot when you're collecting stuff just because you don't have enough inventory slots i'm hoping down the road we have like i don't know something where may don't know different backpacks that you can make where your inventory increases and things like that. I think that's something we will see, but fingers crossed we get that with uh, the next couple updates potentially. So that's actually going to be it for this one, everybody. I have more to toy around with. The bees are very difficult. Uh, probably starting a new game too, so I can hopefully find some of the things that are actually missing from my game. I may do a play series with my son as well, so I will announce that down the road. But that's going to be it for this one, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.